I have to do it. I have to show you guys my stupid build for Black Wings. Uh, my Black Wing deck is not as good as uh, Roberts because Roberts is a whole nother thing. My Black Wing deck is just for fun. <laughs> That's something that I want to specify right now as soon as, uh, you know, by the time we start. It's not to be competitive, it's not to be played in competitive. I have a lot of friends that play for fun and I wouldn't be able to have stuff to play with them for fun. Um, you know, they, they still have hand traps, so I get hand trapped and if I get more than two hand traps in my deck, I'm, 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 gonna, get, I'm gonna get murdered and it's, just, it's understandable. That's what happens. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh is. But my Blackwing deck profile, it's so good. It's so fun because it's just so interesting, man. It's just something that I hadn't done before. I love combo decks and hopefully you guys enjoy this deck with me. Uh, this is something that is coming from my heart. I actually really, really like this deck. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I was actually gonna start recording this video about three minutes ago and then I realized that uh, my good friend Michael actually let me borrow his whole deck. He let me borrow his whole deck because they, he had the max rarity of every card that I'm about to show you guys. Um, you see like this is his deck. He played max rarity. I took out the cards that I needed to be able to put them in my deck. You know, OTs, nothing but OTs, OTs right here. He, I took out the, I took out a couple of the cards that I needed for my deck just to be able to max rarity my deck. So I can show you guys. And shout out to you, Michael, because you're a good friend and you let me borrow these cards for this video. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and continue. Two elite, two Sephiroth elite. I think the card is too good to not be able to play it at two. I know his effect is only at once per turn. And that's completely, completely fine. You play the card because you want to be able to see it in your hand or you want to be able to send it to the graveyard as soon as possible so you can bounce any card and add, uh, have have him special summon himself to the field. His effect, his cost is to pay 400 life points and bounce the card to hand. Don't, don't, don't get destroyed by that. You want to know that the effect to bounce the card to hand is cost. So the card must be bounced no matter what. After that, guys, you got to play the three Bora. Two of these Bora are Michael's. These are right here in the black sleeves. Uh, thank you very much, Michael, for letting me borrow <laughs> your cards yet again. Bora, too good. Not once per turn. What else can I say? Pfft, not once per turn, man. That's dumb. After that, you play the one. You play the three Chris. Chris, uh, two of these are Michael's. Thank you, Michael, yet again. Um, <sighs> Chris is a once per turn, man. Honestly, none of their other effects really matter to me, except to be able to special summon themselves from hand. Um, so it's a once per turn. So I normally sometimes, uh, I sometimes normal summon him to be able to special summon other black wing monsters from my hand because uh, I've had situations where I open up like two of these and then I have to normal one, special the other one, and then special something else and just continue with the combo. I'll be able to show you a couple of combos, uh, combo starters that I have with this deck and um, some of the boards that I end up with. After that, you play the three Gale. Gale is dumb, it's good. It's the stuff that gets you into your synchro summon. And this is a really good card. After that, the only and last one other monster that I play is Gust. That's it. That's the only. That's the only other uh, Black Wing monster that I play in this deck. I feel like I could play more Black Wings, and I probably will. But for my specific deck, the way that I'm doing this one, which is just for fun, this works great for me. That's it. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with the other monsters because I do play a lot of monsters. The next monsters that I play are gonna be the 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 singing. Uh, Lanius, this guy is a three of in this deck. This guy is too good. You, if you control XYZ monster, once per turn you can special summon him from your hand. This is basically when you force tricks and then you add him into your hand, and then you just special summon him to be able to continue your combo. If you have any of the other Blackwing monsters, instead of instead of using him to be able to a link summon, you use the other ones. But he's a really really good monster. After that, I play the three Parallel Xyz because Parallel Xyz is just dumb. Um, I think it's a really, really good card. It, it makes this deck go off. It's it's a really good combo starter. Uh, after that, or a combo extender, my fault. After that, you play the three Goblinburg. I think this card is too good to not be played. Uh, some of my friends tell me that this card honestly isn't good in this deck, but I actually think otherwise. I think that it's too good because it's a level four and it's pushes them as a level four or lower. What else do you need for four tricks? Just two level fours, that's it. It's too good let's go ahead and continue from here uh after here i play 
um the little chameleon guy i don't want to freaking even try to pronounce his name because i know i'm gonna butcher it but the chameleon guy he's he's stupid dumb he's stupid good and i play this guy at two. Oh, for the people that don't know this if you normal summon a monster you can special summon him from your hand he doesn't lose timing so normal summon effect so special summon and then effect special summon doesn't lose timing so make sure you know that after that guys you play the one xyz dolphin xyz dolphin is really good if you if you uh if you xyz you special summon from your hand that's it uh i only play the one clock row because clock row is only good to be able to link summon him away so that means that you would have more than two or two level four monsters as long as you is this is like this has as long as you control a dark monster you just special summon them but for, for the reasons when i use them is that i better have more than two or three level four monsters to be able to special summon him and then just xyz detach you add this you special summon that and then you link away this with the four tricks that's how i use them and i think that's the most uh i think that's the best way to play this monster um i wish i wish i had like high rarity of this this is sad. This shouldn't have been printed out in common. I just want to specify that. And then, I don't know if this has higher rarity or not, but if, if it does, I need to get it. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, for the last monsters that I play, because I do play, uh, I do play, like I said, the infinite negate board. This is it. Uh, I almost never do this. I only do this whenever um, my opponent 100% just locks me out. Uh, just locks me out and, like, he hand trapped me or something. I just summon that to another big beater monster or something and then that's in my turn um it doesn't come up a lot like i said but it's there just in case let's go ahead and continue i played the three black uh black whirlwind thank you michael for these nice whirlwinds for the deck really like these a lot um black whirlwind if you know some of the black wing monster you add one to hand there you go what else can you say um there is the restriction of you um adding a monster with less attack than that monster but that's really not a big deal um it happens you play the two lord of darkness you play you play a german and you play an english because if you're not playing german you're gonna see them too much and you don't want to see them too much sometimes you you open one up you draw two cards and the one of the two cards that you draw is the other one like <laughs> what the fuck is that man no so you gotta play a german and you probably play an english so then you activate one which could be english or german and then you won't see the other one that's exactly how it works that's mathematics and that's the probability of doing that that's how that works <laughs> uh you play the one foolish burial the monster reborn and the upstart because this is a 40 card deck and you gotta upstart there's nothing else i can say you gotta upstart Foolish, uh, foolish because you want to send elite sometimes to the graveyard. So if you have elite in the graveyard, uh, you don't have to special summon them from the raid raptors effect. So uh, you can go um, from the raid raptor uh, link monster. You can just summon out a Bora, and then you just go elite to the graveyard by foolish, foolish. Uh, you go elite special Bora. I mean bounce back Bora special elite special Bora. There you go. Combo, uh, rank up magic, uh, and uh, double or nothing because I do play. The double or nothing package like it's just it almost never happens but it's there just in case i ever do need to because sometimes i run into the situation where they summon out like one monster in attack and then they just end their turn and then i could just go attack with you know utopia and that's it but like i said german and english you have to do two languages two different languages because then you'll see them too much after that the only two trap cards that i play in my deck these are the phantom knight brigadine uh Brigadine, Brigadish, what are they? Brigad Brigadine, yeah. These are really good. Uh, set, you activate, now you have a level four monster. This is all about level four monsters and you wanna be able to spew them out and, to sh and just splash them onto the field as soon as possible. Keep in mind, you're not playing opponents who are gonna have Nabiru in hand if you're gonna play this deck for fun. After that, <clears throat> the one token, cause you know, you need to have a token. And then you play the two four tricks because these are your combo starters. These are the, you need two level fours and you get into that and whatnot. You play the one uh, infinity because after that, you're gonna go uh, rank up magic from one of those and then just special that, you know? That's also another way to get your um, infinite gate board. And I'm gonna show you guys a small combo, how to do it and how to get into it. <clears throat> Wise tricks and um, your Simorg, Simorg, Simorg. Uh, really good. Honestly, most of the time when I play, these are the only monsters that I use. Uh, if I ever do have like an overextender and, and it's something interesting, I'll probably end up the board with either 
redoer or Papa Roach or Nightmare. These are the other cards that I play. So if I have enough cards on the field, enough monsters on the field, I'll bring out one of these. And um, so if I know that my opponent is gonna try to Nibiru me at the end of my turn, I'll do this. If I know that my opponent is gonna synchro summon or something, I'll do this. And if I just don't know what the heck my opponent's playing, I'll do this. Uh, it's really good. Like I said, this to this, Thunderbird and Face, you bring out Miss Valley Apex. That's it. After that, you play Utopia Package, because like I said, you play the Utopia Package, and it's good. Uh, sometimes you want to be able to return monsters back into your deck, so you play Emerald because you can play one, and it'll help you draw. You play the one Equimax because sometimes he's good. Like I said, sometimes you just need to get over stuff and you get rid of stuff. And then the last two Blackwing monsters that I play. That's it. This is all I play. This is all I need. Honestly, I only ever go into these for sure, and then maybe one of these. But if I do get us, if I if I don't get him to scoop, or if I don't get my opponent to just get pissed and pick up their shit, I would probably by having them summon one more monster, I'll probably go into this. That's it. They summon one. They they just set it in attack. They're not gonna be able to do boo boo, and then I'm just gonna OTK. Besides having the infinite negate board, I'm gonna OTK. That's it. That's what I do. That's what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up so I can show you guys the small combo that I had in mind for you guys. Hopefully you're liking this video so far. I'm actually really enjoying it. This is actually the order in which my monsters basically come out. So like this first, this first, then this for the XYZs, and then this, this, and this for my links, and that's it. That's what I normally use. And then for my overextension, just this. <laughs> but yeah, basic combos. I'll show you guys some of the basic combos in a second. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Now let's go to hand number two. I'm showing you guys the best hands. Like I'm just, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a Yugi tuber and show you guys um, only good hands because that's not true. It doesn't ever fucking just happen like that. I'm gonna show you guys three hands and three hands only, and I'm gonna show you guys what you can do. Uh, <clears throat> that last hand was honestly not worth it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna leave it in there. It wasn't worth it. Let's go ahead and continue. Boop. Hey, there you go. So even with this card in your hand. This is still a plus. This is a mad plus. So let's go ahead and start showing you guys how this would work. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing that I would do, since I'm gonna go first, is that I'm a Foolish Burial my Elite. So by Foolish Burying my Sephiroth's Elite, that guarantees that I'm gonna have more monsters on the board than anything, right? So I got Sephiroth's in the graveyard. This is my hand. Normal Summon, Activate Effect chain activate effect special summon effect special summon there you go now effect from graveyard pay 400 life points bounce this guy to your hand right effect special summon there you go that's it so now you've gotten rid of mainly your whole hand you still got this guy in your hand and now you just go off these guys are not winged beasts so you want to be able to get get rid of them as soon as possible by xyz in them away <clears throat> xyz detach you add You had this guy singing, whatever the heck the last part is. Special summon him. And then at this point, it doesn't really matter what you want to do. You can just go here. You got a link summon. Now, uh, you've already had elite. You've already activated elite's effect. There's no, there's no way, there's no need. There's no need for you to bring out elite again. Sorry about the camera shake. Uh, and you've already special summoned Chris from your hand. So now you're going to bring out Bora. Uh, so Bora's effect was special there. Cool. Now you're just going to go ahead and overlay them because you can't link that monster away. So you're going to overlay them like this. You're going to... Eh, it doesn't really matter at this point anymore. You're going to detach uh, effect and then effect. So uh, here you would add Bora. And on the Raid Raptor's effect, you would set 
your rank up magic effect uh, spell. So you set it. Effect, you got a special summon to him right away because you added him, so you want to special summon him while you have this. You're going to link these away. You're going to make your symbol board. <clears throat> you are going to link away. And this is just going to be the dry, like, basic combo just to be able to get you your full board. Uh, so you've gotten rid of that. You have this. You have that. You activate this. You bring out your four tricks. Uh, four tricks there. That's fine. Uh, now you're going to go. Uh, so you paid half your life points. You've paid 400 first, and then you paid half your life points. This should put you about 3,800 life points. Um, after this, you're going to activate effect. You're going to go ahead and tag Thunderbird over to uh, Simulbird. And because of Mag Knights, I normally tend to put my cards in different columns. So I'm going to put it right there. Because then I'm going to activate uh, Infinity's effect to suck him up. And then just take him under himself. So now I have Infinity with two. Uh, end phase, I'm going to activate his effect. I'm going to special summon the mix. The Mist a Valley Apex Avion. There you go. You end. They cut. Whatever. This is in your hand. This is your spell. This is negate. So a lot of the reasons why I bring out Infinity 100% of the time is because... I always run into the issue where if I activate an effect in the gate, so they let's say they go chain link one, I will go chain link two. I'm mean, sorry, I'll go they will, they'll go chain link one, I'll go chain link two to bounce uh, activate effect to bounce this. They, if they try to ogre me, I can just detach the negate because they still have the ability to chain link three, right? So because of chain link three, I want to be able to negate something, and it's the only way that they're going to be able to resolve something. So this is why I do this board, right? And then whenever you special summon him, you want to special summon him to a zone that he's pointing to because your opponent, this card says, <clears throat> it says, cannot be used as link material, whatever. Your opponent cannot target this card or a winged beast monster. This card points to with effects. There you go. And if he would be destroyed, I can just point to, uh, I can just destroy another uh, Simulborg monster, but it doesn't matter. Uh, like this, there you go. That's your end board. Um, so that is your end board. Hopefully you guys liked it. You can have it here if you negate it or if you special it here, here, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you putting it over here, but uh, this is the end board. Let's go ahead and try one more test hand uh, so you guys can see um, that this is actually quite consistent. This is actually something that works a lot for me and it's actually, it's actually going really, really great. Uh, my friends tell me to actually make this deck to the point where I can just play it in the meta, but I'm not sh I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't really think I should, but uh, this time I'm going to show you guys another opening hand, but I'm actually going to purposely put uh, Parallel Exceed in my hand so you guys can see how good Parallel Exceed is with this deck and how great it's just going to take me over the limit. All right, let's go ahead and shuffle this. All right, guys, so for the last hand that we're doing, uh, we're going to be doing um, just some of these Blackwing Monsters um, plus um, Parallel Exceeds. This hand is going to be right random. Oops. So that was five cards, sorry. But this is the next four cards that I'm drawing, and this is what it looks like. Um, okay, so the best way for me to think about this is that you would activate Allure Darkness, right? You're going to draw the next two cards. Okay, that's not bad. You draw the next two cards and then you banish one, right? Um, so, ooh, this is interesting. I'll probably banish this. So the reason why I would have banished this, it's because I can still link away with this and then I'll be able to summon out all of this at once. Normal, special, set, special, special. Um, XYZ, bring one out and then special uh link this away with the xyz yeah so this is whenever you do that invisible calculator shit this is what you're thinking about stuff like this so let's go ahead and do that combo so banish that uh clear out this uh let's go ahead and just uh set normal summon effect to special summon then you special summon from your hand so i know he's not at once per turn but you know that you didn't special summon him off of his own effect which is enough you special you set you special summon you activate um i'm sorry you or you overlay you detach you activate effect. Now you're going to add the singing lotus. Where's he at? Or singing, whatever. <sighs> this is such a good combo. I love this combo. 
Mew, I had Buster Dragon next. Haha, <laughs> thank god I didn't draw him. But uh you add this to your hand and you special summon it. Now you're gonna go ahead and ex you're gonna go ahead and link summon. This is why I had that. So you're gonna go ahead and link summon. Now you're gonna go ahead and bring out your Raid Raptor. Raid Raptor's effect to special summon. Uh ooh, Raid Raptor's effect, chain link, uh chain link two. So you're gonna special and then you're gonna go Raid Raptor's effect, chain link <laughs> chain link one. And you're gonna bring out where is he at? There you go. Bring out Elite, and then uh, Parallel Exceeds effect to bring out the other one. So Chilling One, Chilling Two, special. Chilling One, uh, Chilling One is special. Activate effect, special. There you go. That's exactly how you resolve that. You're gonna go ahead and overlay these because you want to be able to get him to the graveyard as soon as possible. You overlay, you detach, and then you're gonna go ahead and add. Uh, I would normally add Bora in a situation like this. I like this one better. Uh, at that Bora, and then you go activate effect. This is where you set your sh uh, your rank up magic because you activated a Raid Raptor's effect or XYC monster or whatever. You set it. Uh, you activate Sephiroth's Elite effect to, special to bounce this back to your hand, and then you just special summon him back because he's not on once per turn. You link this away. You make your Simple Bird. You special summon this card to the field from your hand. Why not? Um, you see here you have a lot of options so you have normally one extra monster that i normally don't have on the field most of the time so here i would go ooh, i would go here to link away so i've paid 400 life points i would link away i would bring out this guy then i would go activate pay half of my life points to special summon this guy and special summon this guy <clears throat> after this i would go Hmm. He has a greater defense, so I'll probably. This is interesting. I'll probably just special here. I'll overlay there, and then, in depending on the situation, depending on my opponent, I'll summon out any of these three. If I think that he's gonna try to Nibiru me because he's been counting how many summons I did, I'll do Roach. <clears throat> From here, I've already paid half of my life points besides the first 400, and then half of that. So I'm sitting about 8 3800. I have this on the field. I would normally go activate effect to target my Sinoberg. Uh, special, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna special summon this guy. I'm gonna activate effect. I'm gonna take this guy. So now he sucked him up again. And now you have that on the field. And then on end face, you just activate uh, Sinoberg's effect to special with that. Uh, my friend told me that he was gonna try to imperm that at the end face. I said, good luck. Um, Cause I just negate it. Uh, so now I have this on the field. This is my end board. This is a monster that I ended up with and um, That I honestly don't have anything to do with right now and then I have uh, ultimate uh, Ultimate <laughs> ultimate negate <laughs> no infinite negate and then I have uh, this guy and this guy So can you be with me? I'll negate your shit and then I'll definitely negate your shit. That's exactly how that works That's exactly what this is looking like uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Um, I put a lot of time, uh, a lot of hard work into this deck. I really like this deck. This deck is just to be played for fun right now. Till I play it and build it differently, or maybe more like Robert's build. If you haven't seen Robert's build, go check that out. It's a really good deck profile. He's uh, he's had a lot of fun building that deck. He's had a lot of fun playing that deck. And God, it's, it's just it's so good. But this is more of my fun build. My I'm just here to negate your shit and walk away build. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is Ed from Team Elite signing out. Ed, Eddie, Ed Boy, Ed Baby, whatever you guys want to call me. Have a great night.